In this three-minute summary, we take a look at the proof-of-stake concept and why it is a worthy consensus mechanism for the future. Proof-of-stake is a class of consensus mechanisms that is used to validate data blocks on a blockchain that represent cryptocurrency transactions. In other words, proof-of-stake is a method used to maintain the integrity of the blockchain. Consensus is what solves the problem of double spending. If a cryptocurrency trader could spend coins more than once, the entire system would be jeopardized and susceptible to theft. This is a difficult challenge to solve, especially with decentralized currencies that lack a central authority, such as a bank or government. For this reason, consensus mechanisms have been developed to keep track of how much currency each user within the same ecosystem has. Because of how blockchains work, each extra bit of data that is written on a block on the blockchain is immutable. This means that existing data can never be erased or changed, and data can only be added as a new block. This is a very secure system to store data, but also requires the need for constantly validating every block in order to verify that, in fact, no blocks are being changed and thus double spending cannot occur. The process of validating data blocks is called mining and is done by miners. In a proof-of-stake mechanism, a miner can validate blocks according to how many coins he holds, and all miners take part in a lucky draw where the winner is decided by the blockchain itself. The winner then validates the transaction and gets a reward for having offered his stake as a validator. But then how do we know that the winning node won't cheat and validate a wrong transaction? Well, to volunteer in this lucky draw to become the validator, the miner has to stake some of his own cryptocurrency hence the name Proof of Stake. When a miner cheats, he is penalized and the staked coins are not returned, making it a costly scenario to take the chance to cheat the system. To keep the lucky draw fair, the more currency a miner stakes, the higher the chances are of getting picked as the winner. Here's what a typical Proof of Stake based mechanism workflow looks like. Nodes carry out the transactions, all of which are gathered into a pool via the Proof of Stake algorithm. All the nodes competing to be the next block's validator raise a stake. To choose the validator, this stake is coupled with other parameters like coinage or randomized block selection. The validator checks all the transactions before releasing the block. His stake is still locked, and he's yet to receive the forging reward to allow the network's nodes to verify the new block. If the block is validated, the stake and reward are returned to the validator. If the method uses a coinage-based process to choose validators, the current block's validator gets its coinage reset to zero. As a result, he will be a low-priority candidate in the next validator election. If other nodes on the network do not verify the block, the validator loses their stake and the algorithm marks the block as bad. To forge the new block, the process restarts from step one. Subscribe to our channel to learn more about decentralization and its fundamental concepts.